I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. Goodbye, get out of here. That's three knockouts this entire match for the Dusk Man. This thing is gonna take out every single mod on my opponent's team because he just does not think it's a threat and he waited too long. He just let this thing absolutely sweep the guy. Like, he was, I don't know what he was doing. What is up, everybody? Back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Regulation G VGC. Dusk Main Necrozma is another Mon that we have not yet tried out, and we're going to try that out today. It's a really cool Mon. I think it has a lot of potential, and I just can't really find many people using it for some reason, so we're going to see if it's actually a good Mon or it's a bad Mon. It's another one of those things that actually is a restricted Mon that's legal with this Regulation G format. It is a Psychic Steel type, kind of the same typing as Metagross, which was kind of a, a Mon that was used decently back in Regulation F, kind of the same typing. You also have Prisma Armor, which is a really good ability. You have some really solid stats, and you also get some really solid moves. Uh, two signature moves being Sunsteel Strike and a Photon Geyser, which is a really high base power physical psychic type move. So uh, it has some stuff going for it. I just don't know if it's really the greatest or we're going to see how it does. Um, there's actually a team by uh, Dove. So if you guys want to use this team, rental quote up in the corner. I do not have a Poke Pace for this team, and I do not know if there is a Poke Pace for this team. If there is, and I can find it, I'll add it to the description down below. But as of now, at least I'm recording this, this team only has an in-game rental code. So if you guys want to use this team in-game, that's the only rental code I have for it right now. I don't have a, do not have a pace for it, at least for Showdown. So, I'm going to kind of run through this team, and then we're going to hop in some games. Uh, I do apologize, y'all. The content's kind of been slowing down over this past week. Like I said, I, I've been kind of struggling to find teams. I have a few teams on the way. I have another two of my teams that are pretty much done. I'm kind of just waiting to throw you guys away. And then I have a bunch of other teams. Now, I'm starting to find some teams that are more obscure, kind of with the more, like, less used, restricted stuff that I haven't really featured for you guys yet. So, I got a few more mons on the way and some teams I'm going to be featuring here over the next couple days. So... Hopefully I'm able to kind of bring an uptake and uploads for you guys here in the next few days. I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload daily, like with that much amount of content, because I don't have that kind of amount of content, at least as I did. But I'm at least trying to still bring you guys at least like daily, like every other day uploads at the very least. So even maybe like daily uploads, I might just throw like a video up like once, like back to back on a few days. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. But I'll, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing yet. And it depends on my teams I can find and whatever happens. At least after I, I'm done recording this. I don't know when you guys are even going to see this. So, um, top through this team real quick. Got the Dusk Main Necrozma with the Terra Grass. I'm not sure what Terra Grass is really for. I'm assuming it's just so you can you have a resistance to Maridon. I'm assuming that's what it is. Or like a, a resistance to Ground, maybe. Uh, to Groudon, maybe. to Like as a Ground move type move. I'm not 100% sure what Terra Grass is for. Unless you're trying to dodge Spore. I'm not 100% sure. I'm guessing that's kind of what it's for. Just if I were to make some, like, shots in the dark as a, to guess what it really is. Um, just a really standard set with the Calm Mind, or not the Calm Mind, the Sword Stance and the Clear Amulet and Double Stab. You got the Frigger off the Safety Goggles, just your Trick Room setter pretty much on this team. Very standard set. Life Orb, Burst Loon, a really standard set. Uh, booster, Flutter Main. I'm not sure if it's a Speed Booster or a Special Tag Booster, but we'll see how it is. It, it has the Icy Wind, too. It's more of a Speed Control one, it seems. Um, you got the Amoongus on here is mainly for spore pressure, just kind of otherwise it's a really standard set with the Rocky Helmet, kind of to deal with Urshifu and has like a, a bulky checks, a lot of the physical stuff. And then you got the typical Incineroar on here with the Citrus Berry, just average, everyday EV spread problem, I'm assuming, same with the set. So, not really too much crazy on this team apart from the Dustmane and the Krosma, kind of a lot of well-established, like, stuff that we kind of know what it really does and kind of standard stuff on this team. Let's see how it does, top in some games. All right, we hear the game. My opponent's actually running a whole oh, restricted team, which is kind of cool. But yeah, he's actually using the Meow Scarada. This guy, ha he knows what's good. He knows how to cook. If you guys missed my recent video, I actually did a video talking about uh, some like really underrated mons that are actually a lot better and like actually seeing a lot of usage or have like specific niches and like stuff that they can do it with Regulation G. Meow Scarada was one of those mods that I actually talked about. So if you guys missed that video, I'll leave a link to that at the end of the video. Kind of just more of a discussion video going through a lot of stuff and specific Pokemon and kind of talking about how they're actually better in Regulation G and their specific uses. So 
guys missed that, go check it out. I kind of break down Meow Scarada, because I think it's actually really good in Regulation G with a few things it can do. What do I bring here? Unfortunately, like, ho -Oh is actually really good versus my team. That's kind of the main problem here. It's actually really good versus me. This team is really weak to ho -Oh. I'm going to bring Incineroar. I'm going to try to bring the Frigoraph to try to set up Trick Room. I'll bring the Ursa Luna here. I'm going to try to bring the Necrozma, but like, I, the ho -Oh just one-shots me. The only way I'm able to get around it is under Trick Room, so we're, that's what we're going to have to try to do. He has a way better matchup into this team than I do. This team is really weak to fire types. That's one thing I'm seeing on seeing on paper with this team. This team has really nothing for a fire type. You have like Terra Water or Moongus, but like that's more of like a defensive check. You don't really do much back to the fire types apart from putting them to sleep. So All right, we'll see how this goes. If you guys like the video, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. It really helps out the channel. So it leaves me out Sparata. It's kind of why I wanted to bring a Sinner or two because. Cinero is actually really good, so... I'm gonna just go for Fake Out here. I'm gonna go for Fake Out on the Mouse Karate here. Just try to break it. It's probably Focus Ash. I don't know. I also got the Intimidate on the whole -Oh here, so if he is physical, like Sacred Fire, shouldn't one-shot one the Frigraph, unless he's, like, full-on choice banned. So I'm just gonna go for Trick Room here. Sacred Do I live? I do live because of the Intimidate. It's flinch, so that tells me he's probably focus ash if I were to guess. Which is kind of a good thing there because like I probably would have got knocked off and probably one shot it there actually. So I'm actually just gonna flare blitz here. I'm gonna flare blitz and then I'm gonna hyper voice here. Just for damage. It's gonna protect, so that's fine. The mouse broad is gone. Oh, he's actually going to hes double protect. He's just going to try to double protect to stall out my trick room. What a play. I don't know what that really does, though. Like, what does that even do? You're still going to be taking a shit ton of damage here, so... Like, they, you stall out a turn of trick room, but, like, it doesn't prevent your fate. Like, unless he wants to scout what I'm trying to do, and then he switches on this turn, I guess. I think what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to parting shot on the ho -Oh here. I have, I have Ursa Luna. Actually, I don't, I don't know why. I don't think I really want to switch out here. I just want to get rid of the Meow Scarada first. I don't really want to switch out into the Ursa Luna or the, the Dusk main because I'm going to take so much fire from a, a Sacred Fire. And I could also have a chance of getting burned on the way. And if I go into Dusk main, that's kind of what I'm scared of. So I'm just going to go for high Hyper Voice here. If he wants to switch, he can, which he will. He's going to try to get his reset on his... On his hole there, he also has Regenerator too, so that's probably why. Goes in the Gastrodon, that's fine. He has Sucker Punch, but the Armor Tail procs didn't take that into consideration. He forgot about Armor Tail. You're dead. I do think Meowth's Karate has a really cool niche, so I, I, I do want to try to have, have it like on one of my teams. I want to have it on... Try to build it, or like, not really build around it, but kind of slap it onto one of my teams for... Just kind of use it, because I, I think it's a really cool mod. Especially in this regulation, it can do some pretty cool stuff. Fortunately, though, this guy ran into a brick wall. He, he had a really bad matchup with the Meow Scarada, because he just got lucky and unlucky, and I led Incineroar, which kind of is still, like, the best check to it in the entire game. So, what do I do here? I could go knock off. I think I'm going to knock off here. I don't know, I could hyper voice again too. I, what I want to do is I want to try to go, get out into the Ursa Luna, but at the same time, I just want to start getting damage on, on stuff. I'm going to helping hand here, I think. That's my play. Like, the main threat is the hole. Like, I need to get the hole low. Eh. Protects again. He just wants to stall the trick room, and I probably should have predicted that too. I should have predicted that doesn't bring me down to Citrus Berry, though, so that's pretty good. I think I have, like, one, two turns of Trick Room left, though. I don't I don't know if the Gastrodon actually has uh, Protect, so we're going to see how it goes here. I don't, I'm just going to knock off again. I'm just going to knock off. I'm just going to make the same play. If he wants to switch, that's fine. I don't care. I think I still have, like, two turns of Trick Room left.
I think like the main problem I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have to try to keep my trick room active. And like I'm not able to get my trick room up again probably on this next turn, then I'm gonna have a problem. Because I think he, he if he's running max speed hole or like any type of speed, he might outspeed the, the dusk main and he'll just probably one shot me with a sacred fire. And kind of the main problem, I have to try to have the Ursa Luna come in and try to pick it off and get some damage on this thing. That's the main thing I need. It's Earth Power. I live the Earth Power. I don't know if that was a, a low roll there or what happened, but I still do tank it. Knock off. What item do you have? Covert Cloak. I, he actually goes for Tailwind. Okay. I think I have, don't I have one turn of Trick Room left? That's kind of dumb. I mean, I guess he has Protect, so that's what he's trying to do here. He's trying to go for Protect. I actually am out of Trick Room. I'm actually out of Trick Room here. So I think what I actually want to do... Unfortunately, I think this game, the one thing I'm actually going to have to do is probably sack the Dusk Man. I think actually getting the Intimidate off onto the, the hole was actually a little bit better here. It really is, but... I don't know. I kind of want to just stay in and get a knockoff. I'm gonna try to go for knockoff here because I think it's in a dead anyways. Well, I'm gonna try to set up Trick Room again, but I think he just goes for Sacred Fire and he just one shots me here from this range. Yeah, I'm dead. He's not intimidated anymore, so. What this game's gonna come down to, it's gonna come down to if the, the Blood Moon Ursa Luna can actually. Oh, I actually get a dodge. That's pretty clutch. So I, that's actually pretty good for me because I have another turn to actually try to get rid of the. the uh. hole here. I'm going to the Ursa Luna. I think this is what I'm going to want to Terra this game. I'm probably going to go Terra normal here. I could also just try to stall out his Tailwind too, which I can maybe try to do. But at the same time, I don't know if I really even without Tailwind, like if I outspeed him anyways. It's just mainly for the Gastrodon. So I don't know if that's really even worth. I don't know. I'm going to go for Parting Shot. If I somehow live, yeah, I'm going to try to go for Parting Shot here. I'm going to go Terra normal, predicting uh, Muddy Water here. And I think from this range, probably a Blood Moon will actually kill. If he goes for Protect, I'm going to be kind of mad, but... At this point in the game, I think he needs to start going for damage, because he does have the upper hand here. If he starts stalling me out, especially like wasting his own turns of Tailwind, that's going to be kind of bad for him. It wouldn't really make too much sense. And I don't think a Sacred Fire one-shots Duras Luna, because so he's not Choice Bandit either, so... I should at least be able to take one, and I can probably get rid of him with the uh, Blood Moon here, as long as he doesn't protect. Oh, he does protect. He does. He does. Wow, what a play. Oh, he has Yawn. That's why. Okay. So even, like, the parting shot here does nothing because he protected. Wow. That was a bad turn. So now on this next turn, I'm forced to go for Hyper Voice. I don't know if a Hyper Voice actually kills him. That's the problem here. I don't know if Hyper Voice kills. And he just takes out the Incineroar on this turn anyways, so... I'm not sure if that actually works. I think he actually just ends up winning. If the Hyper Voice does not kill oh here, like, I think I just lose. And that's even if he doesn't have Flutter Mane in the back. If he has Flutter Mane or Golden Go in the back, I think he still just wins. I think the only way I have a chance to win this is if he has Iron Hand somehow. Yeah, he happened to bring that, and I don't think he did. So. I'm going to go for Parting Shot here if I somehow live. I don't think I'm even going to live anyways. I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice here. Sacred Fire. It does about half. He gets the burn, so that makes it a 2 hit kill. Muddy Water. I live while I actually live. That's crazy. That might actually matter, because now I can actually Intimidate spam him on this next turn. Depends if this Hyper Voice kills, though. That's the, kind of the main thing, and like whatever his last Mon is. This needs to get, get the, the KO right here. It gets the KO on the, the Gastrodon, but not the, the ho -Oh, which sucks. That's bad. The Earth Luna is really low now, too. So, like, it's at the point where he can kind of just burn stall me out if he really wants to. Or either he just outspeeds me and gets rid of me. Does he have Iron Hands? He has Flutter Mains. So I'm pretty sure I lose. I think I actually lose here. I don't know how I win. 
Because all he does right here, like, if he really wants to, he can just go for Shadow Ball and, like, Sacred Fire. I'm pretty sure I lose. I don't know. I think my play right here is actually to try to... I don't know. I, I think I need to save the Incineroar, and that's what I need to try to do here. I don't even know if I take a, a Shadow Ball from this range. We'll see if I do. I think best case scenario here is if he doubles into the Necrozma. I think that's actually the best case scenario here. I'm going to go for Stun Steel Strike. And then I'm just going to Hyper Voice again here. I'm for, I got to attack here because, like, he's going to try to protect. And if. He, like, it depends what he doubles into here. He just goes for Dazzling Gleam. That's, that's actually a misplay, if I'm being real. I think that's a misplay on his part because now I have Fake Out, which from this range might actually get the KO on the, the whole. Can we bring this game back? I think he maybe just misplayed his one shot too, unless you're Focus Sash. He's not Focus Sash. Necrozma with maybe the game winning KO there. Wow, I don't know. I think this actually. We'll see if the Fake Out kills here, but at the same time, like. It's gonna he can only attack one thing at one time, so. Pretty sure fake out at this point just gets rid of him. I think that's game. I think he just threw the match. I think he just threw the game there. I don't know why he protected. What he should have did there is he should have went for Shadow Ball there. He should have either doubled into the Necrozma, or he should have just went for a sacred fire on the Ursaluna, getting rid of it, and then going for Shadow Ball on the onto the uh the Necrozma there. I think Shadow Ball probably would have one shot at me. It depends on his build. I don't know. I don't think he was Life Orbed or anything. It, it would depend on what he's running. Maybe if it was Fairy Feather, I'm not sure. Even then, though, that's not doesn't boost Shadow Ball's damage, so I'm not sure what he was really running. He wasn't running Sash, so I don't know. I don't really care either. We got the dub. Whatever. Solid first game. Brought that back. That was one match I thought we were going to lose towards the end there, but with the span of like one turn, the, the game changed. Not even bad. A really good match to start. If you guys are enjoying it, I'll see you guys in another game. All right, we're going against a Mariadon team. I don't know. This team looks really familiar. I'm not sure if this is actually somebody's rental code or whatever, but I, this team looks really, really familiar. I don't know. I just, I don't remember where I seen it, but I, I think I did see it somewhere. Mariadon, Thunderous, uh, Fragoraf, Blood Moon, Iron. Moth and Gyarados. So I think actually one good thing here I actually have is Necrozma's Terra Grass for Mariadon. So should be able to do a shit ton of damage to it at the very least. Incineroar ain't too bad into his team as well. It's good into like the Iron Moth can't really do much back to me. I can go for knockoff and kind of parting shot out. Can't really do much to me. Same with like the Frigoraph. So I think I bring Incineroar here as a lead. Same for the Gyarados, I get the Intimidate on the Gyarados. Which ain't too bad here. Amoongus looks pretty good. I just don't want to really bring it because he has Electric Terrain. That's kind of one thing I got to take into consideration here too. I'm going to bring the, the Flutter main and I think I'm just going to bring the Ursaluna by itself for this game. Just mainly as like an Electric Immunity, I think that's what I want to bring it for. And if he also sets up his own Trick Room, I can kind of have my own Something on my side that can kind of take advantage of his trick room. If you guys are enjoying the video, leave a like. Really appreciate it. Let me know as you guys are enjoying the videos, and I'll keep on bringing you guys away. So leave Mariadon and Tornadus. And the Intimidate doesn't really matter that much here, though. I think I just fake out the Maridon this turn, and I try to just get damage on the Tornadus. I think that's what I, my play is here. I could Sword Stance, too. I don't know if he's actually Culver Cloak uh, Maridon. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to Sword Stance, because I don't know... I don't think the Tornadus even can do anything into me. And I can just go for Terra Grass on this next turn and resist whatever he really wants to do to me. Because right now I resist the Dragon-type moves, because I'm Steel-type, so he ain't going to be going for any of that type stuff. And I'm just gonna go for fake out here. I don't usually if the Maridons I see they aren't Culver Cloak. They're usually like either AV specs, life or they, they run a lot more of like offensive items. I mean there are some too that also run like parabolic charge that are really like really bulky with like leftover and stuff though, but it's the switches the Maridon out. Iron Moth, okay. 
Well, that's kind of actually a problem because uh, I think under terrain he probably outspeeds me. Just the tailwind too. So even if I have Terra Grass now, that kind of sucks. I wish I would have went for for a uh, Photon Geyser there. Imagine if I would have went for that, he would have got one shotted. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I actually even one shot him here. If I'm being real, I think what I do here is I'm going to protect. I'm going to see what he wants to go for here, and then I'm going to parting shot out onto the Iron Moth. I think that's my play here. I want to lower his special attack so I can at least take one fiery dance and I can just one shot him in return. He has sunny day to all oh, that's scary. Oh, he has heat wave. That's kind of a problem. That does a wow, it does, that's resisted and it does that much. Is that specs? It's a fuck ton of damage. I have Flutter Mania here, though. Like, I'm going to Flutter here, at least. He also set up the Sun for me, too, so I don't even have to pop my booster. He also has the... He has Speed Boost here, though, so, like, I think he still outspeeds me. I don't know if he one-shots me at minus one, though. I'm just gonna go for Photon Geyser here. I'm, I Hopefully, I take one at minus one special attack, because I do have the Prisma Armor, which can maybe help me here. And then I'm just gonna Protect here. Maybe I can bait him in, into going for like a poison type move. He goes into Mariadon again, or if he switches out, like something's taking a plus two photon geyser. He, he is, something's taking a plus two photon geyser. You do not want to eat this, Gyarados. I have. I mean, if you intimidate me, that's fine. Like, I'm still at plus one, though. Oh, yeah, my clear ammo. I forgot about my clear ammo. That's, that's why it doesn't. Intimidate doesn't work. I forgot about that, actually. Go for protect. I, I think you're still dead, but like, is that plus? Oh, he goes for rain dance. It doesn't matter. So this thing is running. What kind of tornadoes is this guy running? He's running double weather with tailwind. That's really weird. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to do. I mean, I still get my speed boost, so I don't really care. This is a plus two photon geyser. You are out of here. Get one shot at goodbye. So that's a huge threat out of the way because he, he what he was trying to do there is he was trying to get a free switch into the Gyarados. So he can just, he, I don't know if he wasn't moxie, he was intimidated, but like that way he was able to do a lot more damage in the rain there. Plus I have Incineroar in the back, which it's really good into. So I think what he does here now is he just goes for Sunny Day again. But like he's, he's slowly coming down to where like he's running out of Tailwind turns. I think what I do here is I just uh, double attack because like the Tornado is thinking to attack me here. It's either gonna set up sun or like he's gonna switch out. So I'm gonna go for photon geyser here, and then I'm just gonna go for. I think I just go for moon glass on this turn to get some damage. Okay, are you Terra Dark? Are you Terra Dark, Iron Moth? Terra Grass? That doesn't matter. I think at plus two, like if you don't one shot me here, he actually just goes for Bleak Wind Storm. He doesn't even get rid of the rain, so I don't know what he's going for here. That does a lot of damage to him. Energy ball, okay. If you want to take the Flutter Mane out, that's fine. I don't really care. Like, I have a plus two Dusk Mane sitting on the field, and this guy is just going over and, like, trying to get rid of everything else that really isn't that much of a threat to him on my side of the field. Like, he's going after the stuff that he shouldn't be making a priority. If I were him, I'd be going after the Dusk Main because this thing is like set up to sweep. He's lost two mons to this thing already, like, and like he hasn't done any damage to me. Like, the only thing he has to do damage now is Mariadon, and like he doesn't know that I'm Terra Grass, so. He's in a bad spot now. He's lost two mons to this thing. I think my opponent thinks my opponent's starting to choke, y'all. He's trying to. He's starting to cripple under the pressure of the Dusk Main. Intimidate off. I don't know if that really matters. Uh, unless this thing's running thunder. Like, if he has thunder, he can maybe do a shit ton of damage here. But I think what I... I, I don't know if I should actually just protect here. If I go Terra Grass and he goes for a Bleak Wind Storm, that's kind of the problem I'm going to have. He doesn't have any Tailwind here either. So, like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go YOLO. I'm going to go YOLO, Terra Grass, and I'm going to go Photon Geyser into the Mariadon here. Actually, I'm going to fake out the Mariadon. I'm actually going to get rid of the Tornadus in this turn. 
I'm gonna go tear a grass and I'm gonna get rid of tornadoes. Because I have Ursa Luna in the back, which is still a ground type, so I should still be pretty good. I'm just gonna go Photon Geyser here and I'm gonna go for Fake Out here. Because I have Blood Moon Ursa Luna in the back, which still like walls and stabs, so like the only thing you can really do to me is go for Dragon Pulse. I should be able to at least take one of those. He has some chip damage on him already as well, so Earth Power should be able to get a clean knockout from like the range he's at, especially after the fake out here, probably. That doesn't do it nearly enough, but still. He just goes for Bleak Wind Storm, I'm surprised. That's surprising, I thought he was going to go for Tailwind there, actually. I don't know, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. Goodbye, get out of here. That's three knockouts this entire match for the Dusk Man. This thing is going to take out every single mod on my opponent's team because he just does not think it's a threat and he waited too long. He just let this thing absolutely sweep the guy. Like, he was, I don't know what he was doing. You fuck around, you find out. That's what happens here. I think that's the thing he needs to find out. Go for Photon Geyser again. Like, that's what I do here. And I just go for knockoff. He's calm mind, okay? You are not living a plus two Photon Geyser, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here with this setup in my face garbage. Get that item away. It's really weird. The Incineroar actually outspeeds the Necrozma, too. I just realized that. That's weird. Get out of here. Look, the critical hit did not matter. That is a plus two Photon Geyser. And there you have it, though, everybody. The Dusk Main Necrozma absolutely sweeping the sky. This poor schmuck. Holy shit. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I, like, I'm... The Dusk Man so far, it's exceeding my expectations. I didn't really have much expectations going into this, but it's doing really, really well. I don't know if it's because we're getting some really good matchups, or, like, my opponents aren't playing the best, but so far, these first two games, it's been putting in a shit ton of work. Not too bad. Let's hop into another match. Alright, we're going to, against another Maridon team. Shady. Is this Shady Penguin? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if, Shady, if, if his IGN is different. Is this Shady Penguin? Somebody let me know in the comments down below. I don't even know if he plays on Wi-Fi anymore. I think he's too busy raising his kids. I don't think he even plays the game much anymore, at least that I know of. I haven't watched him in like 10 years, though. Uh, what do I bring? He has Maridon, Incineroar, Landorus, Eye, Milo... Uh, Iron Boulder and Iron Hands. So, actually, the, the Necrozma looks really good here. I'm going to actually lead Necrozma again. I'm going to lead Necrozma. I think the only problem for Necrozma is, like, he has Incineroar and Landorus, which would be kind of a problem. Apart from that, though, it's really good into his team. I need to bring something for both of those. I think Amoongus is pretty solid here. I mean, I, I can't really put anything to sleep, though. That's the problem. I'm going to bring the Flutter main lead. I'm going to go more of an offensive lead here. Uh, what else do I want to bring? I'll bring the Incineroar in the back. I think I'll bring the Blood Moon Ursa Luna here again, too. Just mainly for the Maridon. That's so he can't really spam Electro-type moves or me with Iron Hands. Uh, the Maridon can kind of make some cheeky predictions, maybe. Depends what he brings. I think he brings Incineroar, Maridon. Probably his own... Uh, his own... Uh, Landorus, and then, uh, last mount's kind of up to whatever he wants. He brings the Iron Boulder. So the shitty thing here is, like, if he goes for Mighty Cleave, it just goes right through my Protect. So that's kind of a problem. What he could actually do here is he could actually probably go even go right out into the Maridon, and he can just try to get his Corp Drive boost here. If he's an uh, attack booster, uh, I, Iron Boulder, he could he'd probably just go with Terra here. He could actually just switch the Instant route and go right into Maridon. What he can do here. I'm gonna Sun Steel Strike. I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna try to do here. I don't wanna really protect either at the same time. I think it's what I do here is I just double into the Iron Boulder. It's gonna Terra. What do you Terra Grass? Terra Steel, okay. Fake out, it's fine. 
I don't know what he can really do to me anyways. Like, I think he's going to be going after the Flutter me. I think he just one-shots me with Mighty Cleave. That doesn't even do... That's not even a 2 hit kill. Yeah, I just get one-shotted by that. Is that banded? Or is he life-orbed? I don't know. We don't see an item, so I don't know. I'm going to my own Incineroar here to get Intimidate off. And he's probably either that or he's clear amulet, probably. Find out right now. There it is. There, he's clear amulet, so that's why. So did a shit ton of damage, though, but I guess at the same time, Slaughter main. Not really the bulk is mod. I, I kind of want to just sit up in this guy's face, but like he has Incineroar sitting on the other side of the field, which just kind of destroys me. So I kind of have to start going for damage here. Yeah, or I switch out on this turn. I, I can't go for Protect because he goes... If he goes for Mighty Cleave, he just gets free damage on me here, so... So, what I do here, I'm just gonna... I could fake out here, too. Fake out his own Incineroar, which I think I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna fake out the Iron Boulder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fake out the Iron Boulder. I'm gonna Swords Dance on this turn, and then I'm gonna fake out the Iron Boulder here. goes for protect. I swear if he goes for a knockoff on this turn and gets rid of my clear amulet, like, I'm gonna be really mad. I want the free sword stance. I really do. Yeah, he does. He gets rid of it. That doesn't do nearly enough damage, though, because that's the, the prism armor, but still. I don't know what he really has to, like, get rid of me at this range, though. Like, what do you have to one-shot me from this range? He outspeeds me, which kind of sucks, though. That's the main problem. I'm at plus two, like, plus two Sunsteel Strike should do a shit ton of damage to him. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna Parting Shot out onto his own Incineroar. Uh, the Terra Steel kind of threw a wrench into a lot of shit for this too, because I don't, now that he's Terra Steel, like, he resists both of my stabs, so I can't really do much damage to him. It's kind of the problem I'm having. And, like, he doesn't get intimidated either because he has the clear amulet. I actually tanked that, which is surprising. I think if he scores for Flare Blitz here, I think he just gets rid of me. I guess he's at minus two now. I forgot he was at minus one before, so that's why the knockoff didn't do nearly as much. Blitz to minus two. I eat it, but I don't know if I can actually get a kill from this range. It's at plus two. Plus two Sunsteel Strike. Can I get a KO from this range? It's resisted. I do. That's impressive. Didn't think that was going to get the kill. So that's huge. That's a really solid kill there. And now I have the Ursa Luna here, which doesn't really have to worry about the, the Iron Boulder either. Which is pretty good. It's great into the Maraidon. I think the only worst case scenario is if he has Iron Hands in the back. Landris, that's fine. I don't care. I think what I do here, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to protect. I could go Terra Normal here to, as well, but I want to kind of keep my ground typing for as long as I can. That's what I want to do here. The Incineroar is already at minus two. So, like, I think what I do here is I'm actually just going to go Hyper Voice. I think he's just going to try to get rid of the Necrozma on this turn. There's the Earth Power. I could go Terra Grass, but I don't know if, if... From this range, do I actually even live in Earth Power? And if, is it even worth? I don't even know. Goes for Parting Shots. That's bad. I don't even know if Early Pay is going for a Terra. Because like I'm at such low health already, I don't know if it matters that much. There's the Maridon. I don't think a Hyper Voice is going to do that much. It does more than I thought it was going to do, but still not enough. So I have a few options here. I think what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to switch the Necrozma out. And I'm going to go into the Incineroar here. Eh, I don't know. Just sack it off, I think. I think that's what I... I don't know. I kind of want to switch out the Ursa Luna too, so I get a reset. I think what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to go for Terra Grass, 
I don't see myself tearing anything else in this match, so... I'm gonna go for the Terra Grass here, and I'm gonna try to one-shot the Maridon. I think that's my play here. And then I'm gonna actually switch out the Ursa Luna on this turn, so I can get my stats reset, and I'm gonna go into the... Incineroar here and just get rid of it, because I don't really need it for much anyways in this match. I like the Incineroar, it's good into his own Incineroar, because I can intimidate him. At the same time, like, I don't really do much back to him anyways. We kind of just trade knockoffs and Flare Blitz, so... I don't know. I, I'm going Terra Grass here, anticipating, like, an Earth Power and hopefully trying to tank an Earth Power from a Landorus. I have 48 health left, so I don't think it's even going to matter. I'll be shocked if I live a move from him at this range. Even, like, an Electro Drift. Like, do I even live this? Nah, I don't, I don't even live. That was such a waste. Grass not okay. That's good though. That's good because that, that I actually get a, uh, I'm able to get a fake out off on this next turn. So that's good. That's good. So he has grass not for the Ursa Luna, which is kind of a problem. So part of me here actually just wants to go for like double into the Landris. I think I'm gonna fake out the Landris here. I'm just gonna Earth Power the Maridon. That's my play here. He already wasted his Terra, so like he can't Terra on me. Like if he wants to go for a double protect, that's fine. I'm gonna fake out the Lando here. Electro Drift, uh, Incineroar is gone. I don't know, you could. I guess maybe I could have went for Hyper Voice too. Hyper Voice would have been a good play here. I thought he would maybe protect the Landris though. This is going to be a really close game. It's going to be another really close match. What this match is going to come down to, it's going to come down to whether I can actually tank a Grass Notch and, like, a, a Hyper Voice actually gets the KO on both of these pawns. And, like, the Incineroar being at this range, I don't think he actually can. Like, I, I don't think I'll actually get a kill from this range. Like, I'm going to go for Protect here because I'm going to try to go for Fake Out. Like, I need to have, like, enough health plus Life Orb damage for two turns to try to get like, a KO on both of these mods. And like live in either a knockoff or like a flare blitz from the Incineroar. And that's if I can take a grass knot on the same turn. I don't even know if I actually outspeed him because I think he probably outspeeds me here. So we'll find out. I think this actually might be game on this turn. I'm not sure. I think we might end up just losing here, but I'm, I'm curious. So I'm going to stay in the match. Grass knot just fucking one shots me. Okay. I didn't think Grass Knot was going to do that much damage. I really did not. Whatever. Wow, that just fucking one-shots me. I thought I'd be able to at least live around like at least 50, 60 health. Didn't think it was going to do that much damage. Is Earth Luna really that heavy where it does the max damage? I don't think it does. I don't know. I feel like we could have played a little bit better there. I just got really unlucky though. I think the main thing that kind of, like, completely fucked us over in that match is mainly, like, the Steel Terra on, like, turn one or turn two there, whatever it was, from the, the Iron Boulder there and, like, losing the Flutter Main so early on. I think that was kind of what really fucked us over, like, where they put us back in the match. You could argue I could have maybe tried to Terra earlier on when I had more health on the Necrozma, but it's always really difficult trying to predict whether they're going to go for either Knockoff or, like, Flare Blitz. Because if I would have Terra earlier and I would have went Terra Grass and he would have went for Flare Blitz... Instead of, like, knock off there instead. Like, it still wouldn't have really mattered. I still just took, like, even more health, probably. So, I don't know. So, like, a 50-50 play there, like, predicting what he's going to try to do. And, like, if you get it wrong or, like, depending what happens, like, it doesn't really matter anyways most of the time. So, I don't know. We went, like, 2-3 and three with this, though. And I had some testing games that team did pretty well. So, not too bad. Let's talk a little bit about this team. As for this team, I think this team actually, or at least, like, Necrozma overall, I don't know about the entire team, but, like, at least overall, like, my expectations for, like, Necrozma, Duskmane, like, I think my expectations were kind of exceeded. Didn't really expect too much, but actually did a lot better than I thought it was going to. I don't know if it's because the team around it's really good, or if it's actually a decent Mon, or I just got some really solid matchups against some, some teams I had a decent matchup into. I'm not 100% sure, really, but... 
the majority of the games I won, I think I only lost, I think out of like the five or six games I played with this team, including like testing matches, I only lost like two games. So going like what, like, I don't know, was it like four, three or like four and two ain't too bad. I forgot if it was five or six games I played with this team, but still not too bad. A lot of other teams I've played recently, like especially some of the other teams you guys probably seen over the last few weeks, man, were those teams pretty damn bad. So that's actually incredibly good considering a lot of the other stuff I've been playing, especially that Paul Kid team that I played recently. I, holy fuck, that team was bad. I don't know if it was really bad, but like I just hated playing that team. That was a really like gimmicky, like all-in type team that would just fail nonstop if it like one little thing went wrong. So. If you guys missed that video, it's on the channel right now. If you guys want, you're curious about what I'm talking about. But overall, pretty solid team. I don't know what I had to really change with this team. I think this team is just overall a really standard team. I think the, the only thing I'd really maybe change with this team is maybe the Terra on the Necrozma. I'm not sure why it's Terra Grass. I'm assuming it's for Maridon. That's what, kind of the main thing I'm assuming it's for. Either that or it's try to set up on something and like resist a move and try to get a sword stance up. I'm assuming that's what it's for. I'm not sure if it's just a dodge of spore either, but I'm not, I, I'm not sure what it's really for. It's kind of wish, why I wish I had a pokey pace for this team, because maybe in the pokey pace I could actually explain what it's the Terra Grass is for. But at least me, I would actually change like the Terra Grass, like a Terra Water, or, like Terra Fire. I think that'd be a little bit better. That way you're able to t to dodge like the the fire type moves and like be neutral and like knock off that type of thing, like be neutral like ghost types. Stuff like Flutter Main and that type of thing, just one shot him back. I don't know. Not too bad though. Still a really solid mon, at least from what I played. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. I got a bunch more stuff on the way you guys not want to miss. So if you are new here, subscribe down below. Really appreciate it. I also have channel members active. If you guys want to become a channel member, all that extra support really does help in the help out the channel. And I really do appreciate it. I have an X link to that down below if you guys want to go over there and follow me. I also have a Twitch where I stream over there once in a while, and I also stream over here, usually on Friday, Saturday nights. So if you guys want to drop by when I'm live, enable notifications and keep an eye on the channel. Apart from that, I'm a guy here. Thanks for watching, everybody.